Hey drummers, Gary Williams back with another reaction and analysis video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out John Densmore. He's doing some soloing, so let's see what's going to happen here. Field change there. We were in kind of a three thing. Yeah, we've got three percussion parts big cowbell, small cowbell, tambourine. Trading twos, percussions. Oh, now they're trading ones. One, three, four, one, two, three. Two beats. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. Two, three, four, two. Back to that one. Two, three, two. Nice, cool. It's fun to see those videos, especially some of that effects they did, the TV effects where they would blur the two screens together so you could see kind of the cowbell over the drum set. So really nice kind of trading aspect going on here. I thought it was interesting how the whole thing started out with that three feel, three, two, two, three, one, two, and da, and do, do, and do, 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 ba. And then it went to ding, ga, ding, ding, ga, ga, ding, ding, da. So they went to more of a straight feel instead of that triplet bass kind of groove. Um, sort of a 12-8 in a sense, but it felt more like 3-4 and then regular 1, 2, and 3, and 4 as it went into that trading section with the percussionist playing some timbales and cowbells, tambourine, another person playing a small little cha-cha looking bell, playing a little 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 3 against this ka 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 so kind of a two against three polyrhythm over that four four kind of cool layered rhythm stuff going on fuller sound having more people playing some backing percussion tracks so it's not so just void and empty some of the more modern drummers today of course would do more ostinato stuff with their feet so they can maintain that sort of cowbell rhythm on their own while still soloing with the other parts of the body some of these great drummers out there antonio sanchez thomas lang Marco Miniman, uh, there's others, but uh, that uh, concept where he has some multi-pedal ostinato stuff going on and the hands can float while well, we had this multiplayer ostinato going on with percussionists in the background and then the ability of him to be able to trade. So it's a very musical approach to soloing, not so much of a showcase of this dynamic virtuoso drumming skill set because there wasn't that so much, it's more of a creative musical interaction between the other player and John. 
playing the drums. So really like the shot there at the end where you can see the drums. Everything's kind of low. Looks like very easy to reach. The ride cymbal was over there. Piece of tape on it. A little bit of a cushion on the ride. But generally the cymbals are larger, breathing nicely, airy sound, more, more cymbal swell and wash a lot of times with those larger cymbals. Uh, but I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was musical, interesting, and short and to the point. And I love the time field changes, especially at the end of the solo when they went back and do 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 back into that original theme. They kicked the whole thing off before they transitioned to four four. So they modulated between some different fields, which was nice. Very smooth transition, nicely done. Hope you like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. If you're interested in any instruction, I've got all the information in the text box below. Just reach out to me. Be happy to help you improve your drumming. Until then, I'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.